I recently got an email from a subscriber asking about the differences between promoting high level as an affiliate and promoting it as a white label to attract customers. So I figured I'd make a video about it. And in my experience, if just one person says something, that means there's at least 10 other people thinking the same thing. So this video is gonna show you the differences between selling high level as an affiliate and also white labeling it and trying to become a SaaSpreneur. I'm gonna go over the differences between both models and let you know which one is right for you. So make sure you stick around. Hey, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Dom and I'm what's called a high level double dipper, meaning I both promote high level as an affiliate, but I also have a white label SaaS that I sell to my clients. And the first thing that you need to decide when you're figuring out whether you want to be an affiliate or a SaaS provider is who you're selling to. Are you selling to agency owners or are you going to be selling to end users? Now, if you're selling to agency owners, the only route available to you is promoting high level as an affiliate and promoting your 297 or $497 plans. This is gonna give the people that you sell to the ability to put their own brand on high level and sell it as their own. To attract existing marketing agency owners, talk about how high level can streamline their operations, increase their customer LTV, and also increase their level of control by bringing a managed SaaS solution into their agency services. And if you wanna attract beginners who are looking to start an agency, create content or ads around the frameworks that high level can provide and how to get clients. But if you're selling to end users, you'll have the choice to either white label your own or sell high level's $97 plan as an affiliate. And selling either one of those plans looks remarkably similar, and I'll show you why in just a second, but just know that the key difference comes in what happens after the sale. If you choose to go white label, you are in charge of the onboarding and the support after the sale. But if you go with the affiliate side, high level is gonna handle all the onboarding, delivery, and support. Now let's take a look at the sales side, and I'll show you why they're so similar. Now, regardless of whether you're selling high level as an affiliate or as a white label, your sales process is always going to begin with either media or outreach. And media, you can break into two types, either content or ads. And outreach can also be broken up into either warm or cold outreach. You're either calling people you know or calling people that you don't. So there we've got videos, ads, calls, and emails. Those are the four types of ways to go find your potential customers. And then we have to send them through some sort of lead generation process. We have to either get their contact information if we don't know it yet, or we have to qualify them somehow with a discovery script. So we've got on the board, we've got get contact info and we've got qualify. From there, we're gonna send them through the sales process to actually close the deal. And then once you've sent your customer over to the sales process, there's four main ways that they can become a customer. So the first way is gonna be sending them through a free course. This is gonna allow the selling to happen passively and on the customer's own time because you're showing them how your solution works and how your solution can benefit them. And when they feel they've got enough or they feel they need it, they can just go ahead, click a page and buy. The next way is a webinar. So what you're doing is you're taking the leads that you've generated here and you're putting them basically all on a group sales call, a group sales presentation, a group demonstration. At the end, you're gonna ask them all to buy at the same time. Some will, some might wanna book a follow-up call, and then some won't. That's basically how a webinar is going to form. They're gonna spend about an hour with your customer, do a group demonstration, and then do a group close. The other way of doing it is using a sales call calendar. You can take your leads that you generate over here, have them book a call with you or your team, talk about their situation individually, give them a little bit more time, and then ask for the sale with every single person one on one. And then finally, we have the high level official events. Now this you can really only do as an affiliate because you're not gonna have somebody on your white label and then go and send them to a high level event. But if you have somebody who's considering high level and you're selling it as an affiliate, you can just send your affiliate link and put them into high levels event. So whether that be a three day workshop, a master class, a sometimes they do like a week long five day challenge, you can send them to all of those events using your affiliate link and when high level converts them and when high level closes the sale, you'll get credit for it as the referring affiliate. Basically what you wanna do is you wanna pick one of these four methods here of getting customers and get really, really good at it and then pick one of these four main sale mechanisms and get good at that. Then base your decision based on what the combination is. So for instance, if you can make content to generate emails and you can take emails to send people over to the high level event, that is going to be a really good affiliate method. If you want to do cold calls into sales calls, I wouldn't be doing that as an affiliate. I would be doing that for 100% of the sale as an agency owner, preferably selling high ticket. If you want to do content into a free course, you can do either. I've sold both high level and I've sold white label content to free course. So basically pick one from each side of the graph, marry them, and that'll kind of determine what you can sell easiest. 
But like I said before, there are a few key differences in selling high level as an affiliate versus as your own white label. And I've got them right behind me here on the board. Now, number one, when you're doing the offer, as a white label, you can create a complete custom offer. You can have your own payment terms, have your own feature sets, have your own snapshot, have your own support, basically do all of your extra bonuses. You have complete and custom control over your offer. Now, as an affiliate, you can differentiate a little bit by adding bonuses, but you can't take anything away or you can't change any of the payment terms with High Level's offer as an affiliate. Speaking of bonuses, I actually have a free course down below as well as a bunch of High Level bonuses. If you want to use my link, go ahead. You can check them out in the description. But besides adding bonuses, you really don't have any other control over the offer itself when you're promoting High Level as an affiliate. Coming down into the pay. Now, as a white label, you get to keep 100% of the money that your customer sends you. If your advertised price is $500 a month and your customer pays you $500 a month, you're gonna keep $500 a month minus any processing fees. However, if you are a high level, if you're an affiliate, you're only gonna earn a 40% commission on any sales that you make, right? The other 60% of the pie goes to high level. So the customer pays $500, you're gonna make 200. And the reason why you get to keep that extra 60% as a white labeler is because onboarding and support is on you. It's up to you to teach the person how it works. It's up to you to make sure the person can get logged in. It's up to you to fix the person's white label account when it breaks or if they have any kind of an issue. It's on you or whatever team you hire. In fact, I'll actually do a video on all the different white label support options with high level. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll put a card right up here when that video comes out. So make sure you subscribe. But when you're selling high level as an affiliate, high level handles all of the support. They have the support chat, they have the agents, they have the Zoom calls. Everything's outsourced to high level. As an affiliate, you have no obligation to support the people that you refer. Now, a lot of affiliates do because it's, it's a way, again, it's a way to differentiate yourself. But as an affiliate, you don't have to support anybody you sell. And now we come to the question, which is best for me? On one hand, if you're looking to sell to agencies and provide agency work or show people how to build an agency or provide service work, you wanna promote high level as an affiliate. But if you're looking to attract end users, you can do either affiliate or white label. And what you choose is going to depend on what kind of lifestyle that you want. If you're somebody who wants a lifestyle business, where you come in, you create some content, you want to attract some customers and then earn money at the end of the day and go home and really not have to worry about having a huge operational lift, then going affiliate might be best for you. However, if you're looking for a lot more control over the process and you're looking to build an asset that you can potentially sell in the future, going white label is probably the best course of action. Now you will be involved more operationally, but you will get 100% of the pie as opposed to only 40% if you're promoting as an affiliate. And also if you amass a certain amount of customers, you'll be able to sell that customer set to a larger agency. And whichever way you decide to go, I do have a free course linked right in the description of this video that's gonna show you how to both sell high level as an agency owner, but also as an affiliate. You can go ahead and you can pick it up. And if you wanna continue watching me right here on YouTube, I'll put some videos up here in the corner you can go ahead and watch. Either way, I will see you in another video.